Okay guys, so this is my new frame design that I've been working in collaboration with the Drone Club for the last several months uh, on and off between uh, my, you know, obviously my very busy schedule. And I think I've got it to the point where it is, I guess, 1.0, version 1.0, and it probably will change um, based on feedback, I guess, from the community. Uh, by the way, this is called Calibri as the title of the video will uh, probably say, and that means hummingbird in French. And it basically, this is an ultralight uh, toothpick style frame with uh, designed specifically for HD videos. So I've got a baby turtle right there, whoop style board, and the whole idea of this frame is to keep the props out of view, and that was one of the things that delayed getting this out. I was going back and forth with the Drone Club quite a bit on getting the right angle for the camera, the positioning of the camera forward so that the uh, three inch props would not show up in the HD video because this particular camera has a pretty wide field of view. And I think it's been pretty successful. Now I'll show you the weight here a little later. It's obviously not, you know, a toothpick class weight because it's got a lot of extra carbon here and the HD camera um, but this is probably the lightest 3 inch HD platform out there other than your traditional you know toothpick style with the camera up top but then of course you're going to have the props in view of the camera so um, yeah if anyone knows of a frame that does not have props in view that's lighter than this that has HD video and toothpick class. Let me know. The whole idea was I wanted to uh, design a frame that was mm, extra light and going to give you a lot of a lot, a lot of flight time on a 3S uh, 450 battery. So the main goal being uh, capturing HD video. I did not want to have any Jello in the video feed, so I borrowed an idea from Umagod or Tommy Tabaya on the sort of clean and dirty uh, plates with the uh, basically the clean plate being the, where the battery is to sort of dampen vibrations and separating uh, this top section from the bottom plate where the motors are, that's where the, and the props are, that's where the vibration is coming from. And we're using these little TPU pieces here. So th this piece here, which is in TPU, and there's one in the front and one in the back, basically separates the top from the bottom and helps dampen vibrations. Um, I still think I need to tweak it a little bit in terms of the infill setting. It's currently 40% infill and it's fairly stiff. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is just one possible configuration. I have this one uh, where the screws go into the TPU itself and here as well. I'm using a nut there to hold the screw from the, from the bottom. Um, so you probably have to play with the infill settings a little bit on this particular part. There's this one. There's also um, going to be a part where a standoff goes through and also um, a part where the two, um, basically the two sections are separated instead of a solid piece. I think he'll upload uh, variations of this so you can try different ones to get the best results. But for me, this one seems to be pretty good. I don't get any jello in, even in sunny conditions. Uh, but again, you have to play around with the your printer settings to get the optimal uh, vibration dampening. It's also going to depend on what kind of motors you use as well and props, so you have to adjust that depending upon the equipment you have. So in terms of equipment, I'm using a Flywoo uh, all-in-one whoop style flight controller. This is one with the LEDs. I think I showed that a while back. Got the Caddx uh, Baby Turtle Whip Edition. I'm running Crossfire here and I've got the, uh, the Mini Mortal antenna from FPV Cycle. Um, the motors are the RCN Power 1204-5000 KV and the props are the Jumpfan 3016 Tri-Blade. I'm um, using, I think this is the Tiny Tank back here from Rush FPV. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the Tiny Tank, I believe. And their Cherry antenna here in the back. So this is just one possible way of building it. You can, obviously this is designed uh, for whip style boards, but you can also use the uh, th uh, 20 by 20 style boards as well and if you use the whoop style boards you can use either the USB port on the bottom or obviously the ones on the side as well will work as well. 
Alright, so this is the weight of my particular build here, and it's coming in at 85 and a half grams. So yeah, if you're looking to build a 3 inch toothpick, obviously you're going to be able to build it for uh, a much less weight than this. I think the TP3 was coming in at like 50 something grams, 55 grams. This is quite a bit heavier, but of, of course this is uh, designed for specifically for HD video. So if you're wondering where you can get the files for this, this will be up on Thingiverse. I'll have a link down in the description. Um, the these actual pieces were cut by CNC Madness, but of course you, if you have the SDLs you can probably get them cut by pretty much anybody. And I think this design is still kind of a work in progress. I, I'm thinking maybe of um, uh, doing like a separated arm design of something like this. Maybe um, yeah, I'll probably add a little bit more weight, but then, you know, if you crash here and break an arm here, you have to obviously replace the entire bottom plate and having separated arms will actually make it a little bit more cost effective, even though it will add a little bit more weight. So that's an idea that I've been kind of throwing around with the drone club for a little while here. Um, probably going to pick that up a little bit later. But this is a kind of a frame that I've been kind of wanting for a long time. The thing is that, you know, whenever you go to like a frame designer like uh, Airblade or Toma Quads, they're always going to want something a, a bit more robust, like a lot heavier basically. And, you know, so they would never go for a design like this where a unibody where if you happen to crash pretty hard you're probably going to snap this arm and um, you know it's uh, you know basically it's going to be cost prohibitive for people that just really generally buy frames from frame designers. So if you're one of those guys that are looking for your typical tank frame out there from most uh, frame places you buy stuff at, you know, this is not going to be it. This is a, a specialty frame for cruising around, getting nice smooth cinematic HD video in the latest possible 3 inch platform and, you know, try, the goal being trying to get the longest possible flight time. So if those are your goals, this is obviously a frame you might want to check out and maybe go and have CNC Madness cut for you. But, you know, if you're <laughs> your typical FPV pilot there that is looking for super heavy, super durable frames, um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of comments about that down in the, in the comments section. Uh, that's pretty normal, but, you know, I think a lot of you guys have been following my channel for a long time now know that I don't follow those kind of trends. I try to uh, build things that are interested to interesting to me, and this is something, like, this kind of platform is interesting to me. Now, obviously, it's a work in progress. It's obviously areas of improvement and uh, you know if you guys have some feedback on that based on your usage of this obviously there's going to be a lot of comments on people that have never flown this because there's hardly anyone that has this and yet they'll have um, a lot of criticism based on no flight experience which is kind of useless to me but if you've actually built this down the road and bought the parts and built this and have some feedback on this let me know in the comments and I'll be looking for that for future iterations of this sort of concept and this design and the things I'm kind of looking for in a 3 inch HD frame. Anyway, so I rambled on long enough about this. I'm going to have more videos on this guy later, of course. This is going to be basically my cruising uh, flying platform for the future because um, I don't really like a lot of the designs out there currently. So this is kind of why I kind of went my own route and designed this with the Drone Club and I'm going to be using this in future videos for certain tests and stuff, so you'll see more of this uh, in future videos. But here is some flight footage. Hopefully you guys will like it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.